Wonderful. The magic of automation and using LLMs in your automation workflows. You know what I've always wanted is to be able to go from a voice recording like the one I'm making now into a nice and neat orderly note in Notion or some other collaboration tool that I use on my laptop. And I have made that automation, which I'm going to walk you through in this video. And it's how to go from a quick voice note like this to a nice digital list of notes that have been given a good title for me automatically that I didn't even write that summarizes the note. And within each note, a bulleted list of points kind of organized roughly into a script if I later wanted to turn that note into content of some sort. And then the actual word for word transcription of that note. So I don't only have to rely on an LLM generated bulleted script but I also have the word for word transcription. And then lastly, the actual recording itself. So I can go back and listen to that recording if I choose to do so. What if we put a brain inside a computer? <laughs> Good question, Andrew. I want to keep that note. And that note now lives right here. What if we put a brain inside a computer? Okay, so how do I go from recording my voice to an organized note in Notion without even touching a keyboard or typing a single word? The way I do it is I'm using a tool called make.com, which I'm sure many of you have heard before. And this is an automation that I've made. And it starts by looking at Google Drive, watching a particular folder. And when a new file enters that folder, it downloads that file. And then from here, let me zoom in a little bit for you. I take that file and I send it over to OpenAI where it creates a word for word transcription of the audio recording. And then I take that transcription and I send that to OpenAI to create a quick title for me. And then I take again the transcription, send that to OpenAI, where it can create that organized bulleted list that you see. So at this point in the automation, I have the transcribed audio. I have a title that's been generated by an LLM that I didn't generate and is designed to be kind of memorable and catchy, something that'll catch my eye in the future. And third, I have the bulleted script, the list of points and topics that are made in that audio recording. And then I bundle all of that up and I send those over to Notion and append them to a certain page that I have already created in Notion, the one we were just looking at this page right here. Lastly, I'll point out down here at the bottom that the automation is on a schedule. It's scheduled to run every 15 minutes and I can edit that. I can take it down to one minute if I wanted to, or I could take it up to every three days. It just depends. So it is going to run every 15 minutes. And here is the Google Drive folder that it's watching, right? So here's all the previous audio recordings I've sent over to the Google Drive folder. It's keeping an eye on this folder. And when it sees a new file, again, it takes it, downloads it, and sends it through the pipeline to eventually land in Notion as a note. Okay, so how do I actually do that? What does the physical process look like? Well, I'll walk you through it. So earlier, I was just making a recording at the beginning of this video, right? I'm just going to use that recording during this demo. So I have the recording pulled up and I just have to click, I'll have to turn around here. I have to click these three dots on the screen to pull up um, the share button on my iPhone and I click share. And in the list of share options, I have Google Drive as an option right here. So I just click Google Drive. And when I click Google Drive, I get a list of folders that I can pop it into. I just want to pick the folder that the make automation is watching. So let me check that. Okay, now I'm saving the file to the Google Drive. And when I click Save, which I am doing right now as I speak, we should see a file pop up Ah, exactly right here. There it is. This is the one from today. And so this is the file that the make.com automation is going to notice. Let's take a quick listen to it. You know what I've always wanted is to be able to go from a voice recording 
Okay, yeah, sounds like the right file. So make.com should be keeping an eye on this right now. And it is scheduled to run every 15 minutes. So probably it hasn't run yet. Let's take a look at Notion and see if that's shown up here at the bottom of the page. It has not. So what I can actually do just for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and click run. And when I click run, it's going to find the file. And let me quickly, it's going through GPT. I'm gonna pop over to Notion real quick so we can see it actually appear. Aha, there it is. So um, wonderful, the magic of automation and using LLMs in your automation workflows. So here's the title it gave that recording. From voice memo to Notion, automate your note taking. Pretty good, pretty good too. Um, okay, so have you ever wished for a way to turn your voice recording into a neat organized note in Notion? I certainly have. Well, I've created an automation. In this video, I'll walk you through the process. Stay tuned to learn more. Awesome. And here's the, the actual transcription of what I said. And again, here's that file. If I wanted to go back and listen to it again in the future, I'm able to do that. So now let's take a look at the prompts that I use and send over to OpenAI because that's really where some of the nuance and, and kind of the, the magic happens. Um, this is not too hard to do, but you do need to have some decent prompt engineering to get a good result out of it. So this first one, this is just creating a transcription. So I actually don't have any uh, prompt engineering happening in this OpenAI module. Uh, the second OpenAI module does have some prompt engineering. So let's take a closer look at that. So I'm instructing it to create a chat completion. It's using GPT-4 Turbo. You can select whichever model you want to use. Um, they have a bunch of options and they have, they're priced differently. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, and I have two prompts here. Uh, you're probably going to want to follow this pattern. I have a system prompt right here and then a user prompt right here. So let's look at the system prompt. You will receive a transcript of a voice memo that will later be used to generate a bulleted script for a short form video post. What you need to do is read the transcript and write a title for that post. The title should be provocative. It should also serve as the opening line for the video. The title should focus on the main point, the most interesting detail, or the idea that the viewer should take away from the video. The title should hook the viewer in, entice them to want to watch the video. So whenever I wrote this, I was really thinking about content creation, but you can put literally whatever you want in here and guide the LLM to accomplish the goals that you have in mind. Here are some examples of successful titles I've used in the past. These are actual examples um, from TikTok posts that I've made, and it always helps. Um, this is a good um, idea for any prompt engineering, any context give the LLM specific examples. If you have a certain format you want it to output, if you have a certain tone or language you want it to adopt, give it specific examples. It's gonna be much more successful um, that way. So that's the system prompt. The user prompt is the transcript itself. So as you recall, up in the system prompt, it says, you will receive a transcript. So we have to actually give it that transcript and that's the user prompt. And this is make.com doing its magic. So you see this little module bouncing around right here. It's telling us that the text variable um, is coming from this module. And as we remember, this is the transcription module where all I'm doing is I'm sending over an audio file and using the Whisper API from OpenAI to create a transcript. So very cool. Um, we have some instructions and we have the transcript being sent over. Let's take a look at the next OpenAI module and see what kind of prompting I'm using there. Okay, so here I'm having it create a chat completion again using GPT-40. Oh, interesting, am I using a different model? Um, I am indeed using a different model. Uh, that's interesting. I think that was unintentional, but you can play around with the models. Usually I keep them all the same, but whatever. Um, for this one, actually, maybe you do want a more advanced one because I'm having it write more sophisticated things. It's writing the, uh, the actual script. Okay. You're an expert script writer and storyteller. You will receive a transcript along with its title. The transcript was created from a voice memo. I'm just giving it a bunch of context. It's stream of conscious thinking uh, that is intended to capture the content of a short form video post. Your job is to summarize the transcript into bullet points and so on and so forth, right? 
Um, so I'm just being very, very detailed around what uh, I'm setting the LLM up to do and what I want it to, uh, how I want it to handle the input. You must focus on these aspects while creating the script. Accuracy, storytelling, deliver value. Um, here's an example of how the script should be formatted. Again, always provide an example. I'm providing a bulleted list here. Uh, it's three different bullet points, just kind of showing what a very, very short script could look like. Now, um, the user prompt, again, I have two variables here. I have title and I have transcript. So it's taking the title, which came from the previous module, and then it's taking the tr transcript, which came from two modules previous, and, and it's using this system prompt to do a thing, right? To do the thing that I told it to do. So the output of this module is going to be the bulleted list that we saw right here bulleted list. And the output of the first module is the transcript, um, as well as the title. Now, lastly, if you want to put these into Notion, um, what you need to do is hook into your Notion account. And what I have it doing is I grabbed a page ID. The way you find your page ID is just go to your page, um, click the URL, and just grab this long string at the, at the end of it. You don't want the whole thing, you just want this long string at the end, uh, alphanumeric string. That's the page ID. Um, and I have it creating a toggle, which I put the title um, at, at the top of the toggle, uh, the title that's generated in that bouncing OpenAI module. And, and that's all I have it doing in, in, on this um, Notion module. The next module is actually appending more content to that toggle that was just created, right? So I have page ID which is actually the page content ID of the toggle that was created, like I just said. And you get that from the previous make, um, I'm sorry, Notion module. The way you can see that is you just, you open up the output and take a look at, you know, start opening these up to take a look at the results. And in this case, it's the page content ID that I grabbed. Um, that's, the, that's the key for this one. And then the actual content that I'm putting in there. So I have it writing the bulleted list here as a text. And then I have it doing a divider. And then I have it writing the transcript. So let's look at what that looks like. Bulleted list right here, divider, this line, this line right here, and then the transcript. Um, so you have to do all these separately. And then, and then lastly, I have it, as we saw, I wanted to keep the audio file handy. So I have it. Um, appending the audio file as well. Uh, so it's right here. And it's actually coming from uh, the very first module, right? And a link, a link to that, that file. So that's it. Um, that is how I go for a walk um, and have my phone in my hand. Sometimes I have my uh, Air, AirPods on and I'll just op open up the audio memos, the voice memos app in my iPhone. Um, start rambling, pop that audio file over to Google Drive. And then from there, I don't even have to think about it because, because I have it running on that 15 minute increment. But the next time I go into Notion, there's just a note there. Uh, and it's a great way for me to keep track of my own thoughts um, while giving me the flexibility that I like, which is voice. I like to be able to just focalize my thoughts without having to worry so much about editing down the writing in real time, because that gets in the way of the ideation process. So I hope this is useful for you. Um, quick note, you don't have to use an iPhone to do this. You don't have to use Notion to do this. This is a, let me open up the um, make flow again. You could swap out Google Drive for Dropbox. You could probably swap out OpenAI for another you know, maybe uh, Anthropics API, if you really wanted to use a different system, you could swap out Notion for Airtable or some other tool that integrates with make.com. The point is, is this is a very kind of basic concept. Go from, from some audio file to a well transcribed note in whatever tool set works for you. Um, if you want to see other demos using other technologies, just let me know. Um, but that's all I got for you today. I'm Andrew. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.